Woodville Tompkins High School is planning a special tribute to honor the memory of legendary coach Joe Turner. Yeah, he began serving as football and track coach in 1960. Turner was also athletic director, and back then the school was known as Tompkins High. So we are very happy today, everyone, to welcome some standout members from Tompkins alumni. We're talking big time people. Mm -hmm. Olympic icon Lucinda Williams and also football great Walter Seabrooks, now Dr. Walter Seabrooks. I know, I can't believe I'm sitting next to the two of you. This is very exciting for me. So it is not every day that we get to have a conversation with actual legends as we focus on the momentous celebration happening tomorrow. Let's take a look back in history. So we're going all the way back to the 1960s with this, right? Yes, yeah. we are. And we're looking at pictures right now of Coach Joe Turner. What was it like? Uh, this question to both of you. Being student athletes at Tompkins back in the day, in the 60s. Mm -hmm. Well, since I'm the lady on the script, I will go first. <laughs> yes. Uh, back in the day, uh, I knew Coach Turner was something that I, I would hope all young athletes would have the opportunity, would have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. But during that time, um, although it was during segregation, we still uh, looked up to him because he's the person that really discovered me. I give him that credit. My mom and dad did the first bid, but then <laughs> Coach Turner was the second. And so he, he was uh, just a gigantic individual, faith-based, mm -hmm. and uh, taught us to be respectful and to be the best that we possibly could be. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Seabrook, you know, coaches come and go, um, but Every now and then you get a coach that has that secret that just instills something special. What would you say that Coach Turner's secret was? Oh, well, first of all, I'm, I'm humbled and honored. Coach Turner's secret was um, consistency. Mm. Um, he believed in consistency because I think about being here with uh, Lucinda. The things that she received during her era at Tompkins High School from Coach Turner, we received the same thing. The difference primarily was centered around he had to make an adjustment. It's sort of kind of like the New Testament and Old Testament in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You don't change, the concept is the same, you just adjust so that the people can appreciate who's receiving. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, to, let's talk about how Coach Turner recruited you. I remember a while back you talked about the fact that they didn't have a girls track team at Tompkins, but he saw you and figured you were quite fast, right? Yes, he really did. A matter of fact, you discovered me. Oh, okay. And so um, I was in the gymnasium. He was not only uh, the coach, but also physical education mm -hmm. instructor. And um, he saw me running around in the gym, and he must have identified within himself the God-given talent that could possibly uh, become a reality. Mm -hmm. And we see uh, that now. Oh, look, you there's look at that, that famous video. Mm -hmm. yes. That's Rome, right? Yes, that's yes. Rome. Talk to us about this. Well, um, uh, prior to uh, Wilma winning her two gold medals in the 100 and the 200, and that's me passing the baton to her, the third leg on that relay team. It was wonderful, but it all begun here under mm -hmm. Coach Turner, and uh, I'm just so grateful that I had that opportunity. So we know, you know, he's been inducted into the Greater Savannah Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, so Mr. Seabrook, you played football under him. What was that like? Was he tough on y'all? Was he, <laughs> was he hard on you? Coach was um, consistent. He was he's consistently consistent. demanding. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't know if it was tough because I think if, if what everybody's receiving is the same, I don't see that as being tough. He demanded quite a bit from us, not only on the field, because he knew that that was going to resonate in our lives off the field. Mm -hmm. And that's what he was trying to do. And, and I think what happened, a number of us in up to Tompkins High School or Woodville Tompkins as young children, and they groomed and, and we left as men and women. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that about great coaches. They will do that so that in other parts of your life, when you become an adult, at work, you're very trainable, you're very teachable. Mm -hmm. um, it has an impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that impact is everlasting. We want to talk about what's happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
in 2022, the school board, Savannah Chatham County School Board, decided to name the gym at Woodville Tompkins in honor of Coach Joe Turner. Thoughts quickly about that? Yeah. Well, it's an honor long overdue, <laughs> and I am so proud and so humbled to be able to come back to witness that. Uh, many people were very hard, uh, long days and long nights in order to have this uh, become uh, to fruition and so on tomorrow it will be an honor yes. um, to stand there and to witness that along with all of the other greats that are present. Mm -hmm. Well any other thoughts from you? Dr. Well I Steve piggyback Burke? on what's been said mm -hmm. when you mentioned Tompkins and Woodville Tompkins are in any order it's synonymous with Coach Turner. Mm -hmm. It's hard to mention one without thinking about the other. All right. Well, tomorrow is a big day. We want to share with you information on what time the celebration is happening. The Joseph J. Turner Gymnasium will be named tomorrow at 11 o'clock. That's at Woodville Tompkins Auditorium. So the school is located at 151 Joe Turner Street in Savannah, and the public is welcome to attend. We hope you will go out and support a great legacy yeah. at Tompkins. And you know you're talking about greatness when you have two greats going on and on about him in that way. So thank you both for honoring us. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Today. Thank, thank you. you.